Hey guys, back again. So let's talk about The Rental, which is the new directorial debut for Dave Franco. And that in itself is an interesting thing because I like how we've get, been getting a lot of these comedy uh, actors doing horror movies. And I just think it's really funny to see that recently, like like with Danny McBride, who wrote Halloween. And David Gordon Green also did a lot of comedies as well. Um, and Jordan Peele, who did Get Out. So it's interesting to see that these comedy actors or directors are doing horror stuff horror movies and it's it's just a cool time to see that right now i really like that um so before i even saw the movie i was excited because like i said dave franco i like him i like a lot of his stuff that he's been in and i think that i was anticipating this movie and i kept getting from friends from reviews online i kept getting kept hearing praise for this movie I kept hearing people go, this movie is really good. So excited to see it. So what do I think about the movie The Rental? Um, I just got out of out of renting The Rental. Um, and I really, really dug the hell out of it. I think that this movie works very, very well. I, I did like the fact that this is a horror movie, but it it does the slow burn in a way where it it works to me very well because I really liked these four characters um, and the movie if you didn't know it already is about these four people two couples uh, to two of the both of the guys are brothers and they all go and rent a house and they suspect that they're being watched they suspect something's going on and I really thought that that premise is is basic but the way they execute it, I think, is done very well because the movie doesn't have to immediately go, oh, we're a horror movie. Like, it's it's a movie that's that has off-putting moments at the beginning where you're like, is there really something going on or are we just imagining that? And whenever the movie becomes a, a horror movie, I think it works very well because the movie establishes these characters very well and it establishes being just a normal i don't want to say normal a more of a horror more of a horror movie slow burn where these characters realize something's going on it feels like there's something going on but like the movie i see you which i watched this year as well it came out last year uh that movie with helen hunt was it was really freaking good as well but it did the same thing this movie does where it's not the movie you expect it to be and it's hard to talk about this without spoiling it, because I really don't want to. I want you guys to see it. And I didn't even watch a trailer for this. And then I watched the review that Double Toasted did, because I watch all their reviews. And they they showed clips from the trailer. And I was like, the trailer really spoils more than I wanted it to. Like, I didn't want the movie to show what kind of a movie it was. Because then it's really easy to give criticism to because the movie at without spoiling it the movie two-thirds of it is a movie that is a slow burn and then the third act is a is a horror movie still but it is a different type of horror movie i don't really want to spoil what kind of genre it becomes but i i like that but i think that going in expecting that from the trailer like it's going to be a fast-paced horror movie it's not. They're not trying to be a movie that's just like gratuitous. Like it's trying to be very slow burn, and I think it does a great job of it. Like I said, these characters, I really liked. I like that all these characters are flawed. I like that these characters are unlikable. I appreciated that because then, as the movie goes along, it does a great job of having something something getting revealed and then these characters turn on each other and i really thought that they did a great job with that because these characters all have flaws they're all characters that are not doing the right thing and i really like that i thought that was really cool and of course you've seen that in other movies before but i thought that it did a really good job with making these characters interesting and i liked their mistakes that they made it, it made the movie work really well for me and again, it's Dave Franco's directorial debut, and I think he does a great job. And I think it said he wrote the script with another guy. And I thought that the script was well done because, I, again, I liked these characters. I liked how they are evaluated. 
and I like where they go because these characters, like I said, are not really good characters. They're definitely flawed characters on purpose, and I think that it just does a good job of being very interesting with, with how they execute the characters. And like I said, as the movie gets towards the end, I really liked it, but I feel like it's going to gain a lot of criticism in which the first two thirds were very slow. And then the third act was boom in your face. And I like that. I still love that about it, but I feel like that's going to gain some criticism from people. I feel like people are going to complain about that, which rightfully so. If they, if you like, if you complain about it, fine, that's your opinion. But I just, I really liked how the movie executed it. It's, it's one of those movies where you have the buildup and then the execution and the execution is more fast than the buildup, but it never felt like it was like haphazardly done un, done bad. Like it was done very well because the idea of what the, the horror behind this movie, whenever you get to the third act, it's like the horror behind this movie. It, it, it's executed in a way where you're like, Oh, it feels warranted to make, and it makes sense to why this becomes this kind of thing at the beginning of the, the end of the movie. So really like that as well and the acting's really good all around like there's only like five actors and you've got i there are two of them i don't know their names for um but you've got dan stevens and he i think does a good job like i i've really liked him in, in all the stuff i've seen him in he was also in that movie um that eurovision whatever movie that will ferrell rachel mcadams movie which which i didn't really like that much but i thought he was really fun in and you've got Allison Brie, Dave Franco's actual real life wife, who is great in a lot of stuff. I really like her as well. And the other two actors are really good as well. But um, you also got Toby Huss, who I don't really I know he's been in a lot of like shows, but I, I haven't really seen him in much. I knew he was in Halloween 2018. Um, that guy who the dad joke guy. Um, but, but for me, like I, I did like him in this and I, and I need to see more with him, more, more, more movies with him because he, I think he did a good job in this movie. I think he was pretty well done and I liked his purpose in the movie. And like I said, all the acting is really good. And I just think that again, these characters work very well on a level of just being characters that you really can see where they're going, why they're doing these things. But I liked how they were executed they're not people you're supposed to think are perfect people they've got flaws to them that really make them um sometimes likable sometimes not likable and i really like the balance and i just again the directing is really good the movie just works very well the third act is awesome the first two acts are great as well and, but like i said it might gain criticism from some people because it's going to be a movie that people are just not going to enjoy probably if it's if they didn't if they like the first two acts and then the third act happens and they're like oh I don't like it or the opposite where some people don't like to watch slow burns and then the third act they really like so I feel like it's a movie that's going to gain some criticism and and I looked on IMDb and it had like a rating of a 5.8 out of 10 which I feel like it deserves more than that definitely and it got positive reviews all around whenever it went to some select theaters in uh, in July and some uh, in streaming like VOD. It went to both streaming and VOD, and apparently it wa it's like the most sold VOD and theatrical film at the same time. That's pretty cool, and that's a cool effort uh, or a cool accomplishment. I mean, I really thought that was cool. And again, it just it worked very well at being a really great thriller with really interesting characters, with really good writing, directing, and it's one of my favorite movies I've seen so far this year. And and I've seen I'd say like twenty twenty five movies. Oh no, I've seen like twenty seven or twenty eight. Now that I think about it, um, checked my letterbox recently. I think it was twenty eight or so, but. I really did dig this one. I really hope you guys go out and see this one. This is one that I definitely recommend. I really enjoyed it. Um, that is all I could say without spoiling it. But the rental I really liked. So tell me down below if you've seen the rental, what you guys think of it. And thanks again, guys, for watching.